Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this pro tip video we are going to look at glue squeeze out and how to remove it. I would begin by saying that every glue is different and the tip that I'm going to show here is specific to water based wood glue. Uh, I will provide a few tips uh, later down the video for other glue types but this is specifically for the uh, water based wood glue. Now let's take a look at the squeeze out and uh, see how we can remove it. Here we have freshly glued pieces for the uh, checkered board pattern and cutting boards and as we can see there is plenty of squeeze out and it's uneven so some areas have more than others uh, but what I'm going to do right now is just let it be let it stay for about 45 minutes to one hour and a half and then when we come back I'm going to show you what I'm looking for and then clean up the glue it's been about an hour and 15 minutes and this is the perfect time for the glue uh, to be removed what I'm looking for is for the glue to be dry on the surface but yet still squishy inside we can see on that big blob right here it's still squishy and that's what I'm looking for dry skin but still pliable and now it's time to remove it what I do in this case is I remove the clamps first so that I don't get any uh, obstructions in front of me sometimes you do need to use a little bit of force to get things unlodged now this is a perfect example because I'm making the uh, multicolored checkered board pattern uh, cutting board so definitely there's going to be a lot of gluing and a lot of cleaning out and this is the way I do it so we already saw the little squishiness uh, dry to the touch but still squishy so what I do then is I just take a chisel or sharp instrument and I run it gently across the surface of the wood and as you can see all the glue is removed if there's anything stuck in the corners I just uh, lower one edge and lift the other and the glue is squeezed out uh, not squeezed out but removed now I'm not going to do a thorough job right here because I'm going to take it to the plate planer later on but if you're doing a piece like a furniture or anything else along the lines where you do need to clean everything up then you will repeat this process more frequently and again it all depends on how much uh, squeeze out you have for example if it's a very small bead you know it's going to dry up very quickly so you need to wait maybe even less than the 45 minutes i usually do but if you have large streaks like the one that you see right here then about an hour to an hour and a half is a good waiting time and then you repeat the process for every surface that you need to clean and everything is uh, nice and smooth now i avoid using a rag dipped in water to clean it simply because the water-based glue is of course water-based and when we add water we dilute the glue and once we dilute the glue and we start rubbing it on the surface of the wood we are basically pushing glue into the pores of the wood and I want to avoid that so that's why I do the waiting period and then clean it up with a sharp instrument if I take a smaller chisel then I can get a lot closer to the edge and clean anything uh, very close to the edge without having the chisel getting interference from the other side of my workpiece so it all depends on the size of your chisel and the size of your uh, wood and how much glue and squeeze out you have but then as you can see it's pretty easy to clean up once it once it's semi soft uh, I avoid also waiting 24 hours because by then the entire glue is uh, completely dry and removing it is a lot more difficult
For other glues such as epoxies or other two-part resins, I wait for the glue to completely dry and then I take my chisel and remove the squeeze out. If I do it any earlier, there is a chance that the uh, epoxy is still in the drying process and it's very sticky. So once I try to remove it, then all that stickiness will get transferred on my tool. And then because I glide it on the surface of the wood, I may transfer more glue to areas that I don't really want. So for epoxies, I wait for the glue to dry completely. For water-based wood glues, I wait until the surface is dry to the touch, but then still squishy. Uh, on the squeeze out once I press that little bubble and then I take the chisel and remove it If you like this video make sure to like share and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified of my next video release and Also follow me on all social media channels. All the links are down in the description